Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Transformer. It is a device which raises or lowers the voltage in AC circuit through mutual induction. It consists of two coils wound on the same iron core. The alternating current is passing through the primary, this is called primary circuit, and creates a continuous changing flux through the core. The changing flux induces an alternating EMF in the secondary. This is called the secondary circuit. Output is taken across the load. It is a device which raises or lowers the voltage in AC circuit through mutual induction. It consists of two coils wound on the same core. The alternating current passing through the primary, this is primary, this is our secondary, passing through the primary creates a continuously changing flux through the core. This changing flux induces an alternating EMF in the secondary. Output is taken across the load resistance. These are laminated sheets to decrease the ED current. So we should note some points. Transformer works on only AC and not on DC. It works on AC only and never on DC. It can increase or decrease either voltage and hence the current or current but not both simultaneously. Transformer does not change the frequency of input AC. Transformer does not change the frequency of input AC. There is no electrical connection between the windings but they are linked magnetically. There is no electrical connection between the winding but they are linked magnetically. Effective resistance between primary and secondary winding is infinity. Effective resistance between primary and secondary windings is infinity. The flux per turn of each coil must be same. So flux of secondary, flux of primary is same. That is we can also write minus d5 for secondary by dt is equal to minus d5 for primary by dt. Let us consider if NP is number of turns of primary, NS number of turns in secondary, VP input voltage given to primary, VS voltage across the load or output, voltage output across secondary, EP induced EMF in primary, phi flux linked with primary as well as secondary, IP current in primary, IS current in secondary or load. As ideal transformer there is no loss of power. An ideal transformer there is no loss of power. So power output is equal to power input. VS IS is equal to VP IP. That is nothing but EMF across the primary, EMF across the secondary. What is VP? Voltage across primary will be equal to EMF across primary that we can write number of turns of primary D5 by DT. Flux is same. What about the voltage across secondary? That is EMF across secondary, number of turns of secondary and D5 by DT. The flux chain is same. So we can finally write Vs by VP that is equal to ES by EP that is equal to NS by NP and we know VS by VP can be also written as IP by IS the current in the primary to that of the current in the secondary. So this ratio is constant called K. K is called transformer ratio. This is transformer ratio or it's also called turn ratio. Number of secondary by number of primary is equal to K. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning.
Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.